And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It is Manchester United, and they face PSV. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage of if they win this competition, the Champions League place is available. Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Harry Maguire plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Marcus Rashford starts with Jadon Sancho out wide and handed the task of playing up front today, Edinson Cavani. Here's how the lineup looks for PSV. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Juan Bissaka. Oh, great vision. It's a fine United move in the making. Fred. It's with McTominay. Cavani is protecting it well. Top class defending. Well, if there's one man who can be a match winner, then surely it is Jaden Sancho. Lee, what do you expect to see from him? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. It needs an accurate cross. On and on he goes. So a throw in here. It might be on for them. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And he takes on the shot and able to get a body in the way. Corner kick played in. Good tackle taken away. Cavani. Bruno Fernandes. Fred with it. Fred. More than decent this from United. McTominay. On to Bruno Fernandes. just couldn't keep the ball they're really pressing their opponents and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in
Looks promising this. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Rafael Varane. Shaw. Fred with it. Scott McTominay. It is a decent looking attack here. Juan Bisaka. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. It might still be problematic. Daniel Malin. Pablo Rosario has it. Gakpo. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, United certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. They might be able to get in now. And still looking for space. Able to get his body in the way. Oh, great block. Cavani. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it fizzled out. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And that is that for the first half. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Daniel Malin. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Mario Götze, Pablo Rosario, Eran Zahavi. Götze, Olivier Boscalli. On the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. And they're making a change. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Now the delivery, able to deal with the threat. Well, they're trying to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Here's a change for Manchester United. Played into the centre of the box. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively.
Weighted pass from Mario Götze. It might be on for them. And crossing towards the far post. And the danger clear. Pogba. Sancho now. Paul Pogba. Well, play is halted for the time being as the physio goes to work. So following the stoppage, back underway with a drop ball. Pogba. High quality defending. And the counter looks on here, options available. The threat was very real. Marvellous defending. This is a message for Andy Toppen. That's Andy Toppen. Can you please return to your vehicle immediately? Pogba. Thank you. End towards Marcus Rashford. Can he play it in? Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Good bit of pressing. Rashford, and he's in an offside position. And time for the change now. All even, but will it stay that way? Chance to play it in. Pogba. And plenty of room in the wide area. Pogba, and here's Fred, Rashford, on to Bruno Fernandes, defended well, could be a chance to break here, good looking ball, Dumfries, And United will switch things around personnel-wise. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Jaden Sancho on to Juan Bissaka Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments can they find a winner Bruno Fernandes Fred with it well that's it for the 90 minutes but this is not over and two 15 minute periods of extra time to come
And so the story continues. The first period of extra time, and no one is leaving. Well, fitness levels are going to be tested now, Derek. Shaw. Maguire. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Jaden Sancho. Here's Wan-Bissaka. A good and fair challenge. Daniel Malin. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Ihataren. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Eric Gutierrez. Mohamed Ihataren. Good, sir. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Crossing opportunity. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Martial. Sancho now. This attack looks highly promising. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Martial. Alex Tellez has it. And back with Tellez. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Juan Bisaka. Nice looking pass. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in their future? Juan Bisaka. Sancho. And a tidy challenge. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. And short it is. Fred. Rashford. And a fine tackle. Offside, a tight one. It always had the potential, didn't it, to go to a penalty shootout in this Europa League final. And that is exactly what has transpired. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Not to be from the penalty spot. Oh, it's inexcusable. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Bread and butter, Derek. Bread and butter. It did strike the post, but it's a goal. Well, that is the perfect penalty for me. Hit a post and in.
It went awry for him from the penalty spot. Well, 12 yards out, you have to make the goalkeeper... Well, he couldn't quite hit the desired target. Well, he's hit the beans on. And he scores! Well, don't they look easy when they go in? And it's gone in! Well, the sweet sound of the ball hitting the net. A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. Well, I thought he was in and he did too, but no. And he squandered it off target. Well, he looked nervous, didn't he? It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. Oh, he saved it! Well, the goalkeeper guessed, but he guessed the right way. Good save. And he's beaten the keeper. No doubt. Head down. Lovely strike. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job. Well done. That is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's probably practiced that all week and he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. Too much elevation off the top of the barley. Well, inches away from being a great penalty. And he's failed from the spot. Rule number one, hit the target. It comes down to this, a goal, and they win the game. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. And they've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure.